Hi, I'm Dale Tate. I'm an electrician from West Yorkshire and I am raffling my house off for a quid. My wife's Australian, so I went out in 20, uh, 2008, 2009. I'd only been there a couple of weeks and, and met my wife, that was it. So I never came home and I stayed there for years. And I had no plans to, to go back to Australia at all. And um, the wife's sister's um, having a baby and she's like, no, I want to go. So I come home from work and for sales signs outside. Pretty much an impulsive decision from her that led to me thinking, well, I've got to sort the house and car out now. So obviously we're in a pandemic, what do you do? So she, she were in the bath, she were in there for ages, about an hour in the bath. And she's like, what are we going to do with this house? And I went upstairs, I chucked it on this raffle site. I come back downstairs and I went, right, you put it up for sale, I'm raffling it. She's like, oh, shut up, you idiot. Anyway, so the second I put it on, I like sold 11 tickets like pretty much instantly. I was like, well, because look, we've sold some tickets. And she's like, yeah, you've only got 399,989 to go. So I was like, all right. And it was like, within the next sort of six or eight hours, it hit 10,000. So I was like, I can't believe that this is selling like it is hitting that first 100,000. And when you hit 100,000, you think, right, it's it's got legs, it's definitely got legs. The hit selling 100,000 quid tickets is a big ask from anyone. But then you look at it and think, still got 300,000 tickets to go. Like, how are we gonna do this? It started off with just a local paper, just a little, um, a little uh, local tabloid around here. And they printed it. And then before we knew it, it was in uh, the Daily Mirror, they picked it up. Um, and as soon as they picked it up, we just got hounded by the press, really. Um, they'll go on the on the website and there's all the bio and stuff on there and all the pictures of the house and car and stuff are on there. So basically, they just enter for a quid. Um, so there's only there's 400,000 tickets, so it's capped at 400. So the second that it hits 400,000, um, the, the competition's over, it's instantly done. Like, we've had so much negative stuff online with people saying, oh, he's going to give it to his uncle and, you know, go to Australia with the money, all this sort of stuff. We are getting rid of the car, we are getting rid of the house, so someone has to win it. Um, it takes care of a problem for us, but it also gives someone like an amazing opportunity to set themselves up for the rest of their lives. So um, it, it is definitely happening. If I'd have had my time again with it and I'd known it had done so well, I'd, I would have stuck a hundred grand on it for charity. I'd, I'd, I'd have banged another 20% on. And uh, the way we're going now, I think we'd have still made it. And I, I could have done so much with that for charities and stuff. But. Uh, we are still going to do some charitable stuff, but it's pretty lean. So we, we're going to hit that 400,000 and the second it does, then, then it's over. So the, the current rate, in the next 10 days, this, this prize will be awarded to someone. And I mean, it'd be amazing if it were another tradesman, that'd be pretty funny.